Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Jibber Jabber Reviews, and finally some concrete news on the upcoming Galaxy Watch Active 2, which is set to be released later next month. Now if you were already sitting on the fence trying to decide if you should make the move to pick up Samsung's newest smartwatch, then you may find the details about the Active 2 here quite enticing, but if you already have the first Active Watch, and that was actually only released a few months ago, then I would probably hold off as the improvements are, in my opinion anyways, quite minimal, particularly for the price difference. But again, that depends on what's important for you in a smartwatch and what you're going to be using it for. But keep in mind, as the name suggests, this really is a fitness-oriented smartwatch first. Okay, so let's jump right into the improvements. Well, the biggest enhancement is probably going to be the return of a rotating bezel. Well, kind of. The Active 2 still looks very much like the original with its smooth edge screen. So no mechanical bezel here, but what it does have over its predecessor is a touch-based bezel which mimics the mechanical bezel that many have come to love in the Gear series as well as on the Galaxy Watch. And this new touch bezel will even have a vibrational tick to it and allow the user to turn it clockwise or counterclockwise, which again is meant to mimic the feeling of the rotating mechanical bezel. So the return of some sort of bezel will definitely be welcome news to the critics that were frankly shocked that Samsung would even release a smartwatch lacking that functionality. So this electronic touch bezel should at least help ease some of those concerns. The other new feature that's been added in the Active 2 is the ECG functionality, although this won't be available at the time the device is launched, and I think this feature was really added to keep pace with the Apple Watch 4, which also came loaded with this enhancement. And to account for these improved heart rate functions, the Active 2 has actually doubled the amount of sensors on the wrist-facing bottom from 4 to 8. Now how accurately it will be, well that remains to be seen, but upping the amount of sensors should definitely help with those measurements. Now in terms of improvements, this is pretty much where the list ends because it still has a very similar style and weight to it compared to the original model. It comes with the same IP68 water and dust resistance rating. It has the same dual core chipset, the same four gigabytes of storage, which in my opinion is really too little for the size of the watch faces and the apps that are in the Galaxy store today. You also still get 39 fitness and workout tracking modes and battery performance should be similar as well, although I'm going to elaborate more of that in just a moment. And lastly, it will come loaded with Tizen and the newish One UI interface, which debuted in the original Active Watch. Now in terms of sizes, you're going to have the option of picking this one up in either a 40 or 44 millimeter version, which means if you stick with the 40 millimeter watch, you're still going to be able to retain the same size battery. So in other words, expect one day of life out of it before you have to recharge. The 44 millimeter version has a slight bump on the battery size, so expect your performance to increase to possibly two days without having to recharge and assuming of course you aren't doing a lot of battery draining tasks. You also have the option of picking this up in either a Bluetooth or now an LTE version, which should make many of those happy that like to maintain connectivity when going for a run or a hike. Another feature that's been added, although personally I think this falls into the gimmicky category, is that you can now take a photo with your linked phone and create a color matching and patterned watch face that's based on what you wear with the intended purpose, of course, being that you can now match your watch face to every outfit you own. Okay, interesting, but I guess if you ever go into the Samsung Galaxy App Store or you even follow my channel regularly, then you'll know that there is absolutely no shortage of watch faces available to provide you with the same flexibility and personalization. So again, I don't think this feature is really needed, but who knows, it may be something to play around and to have some fun with. Now one thing you are definitely going to notice on this new watch over the original is the price difference. The Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 is going to go on sale on September 27th starting at $280 US dollars for the 40mm and $300 for the 44mm version. And for this base price you're going to get a silicon wristband in either a silver, black or pink gold color scheme as well as the aluminum body for the case. 
The pricier models will have a stainless steel body and be available in black, silver and gold colors and complete with a leather strap. Now unfortunately there have not been any reports released yet on what these are going to cost nor has there been any indication of what the LTE version is going to cost either. Okay guys, that's just a quick recap of what you can expect on the new Galaxy Watch Active 2. Now do you guys think this new rotating touch bezel, the new larger size case option for the 44mm and the ECG functionality would be enough to convince you to make the switch from your current smartwatch or perhaps to purchase this as your first smartwatch? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, I'm going to keep you guys updated with future developments and I'll see if I can even get a hands-on demo of the new watch because I have a feeling that if my wife sees this video, this new watch is going to be on her gift list anyways. Thanks again for watching. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.